Hi everybody, we're in Vegas for Brett's birthday. It was a surprise, so I surprised him with the Bachlin now, and we're super excited. It's one of the best um, buffets in Vegas, some say the best. So, what do you think? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. This is not only one of the best buffets in Vegas, it's supposed to be like one of the best buffets in the world. So, yeah, yeah we're looking forward to getting in there. Hopefully getting our money's worth. Yesterday we ate a little bit too much, so we're still feeling yeah. the, the residual uh, Pretty full. effects of that. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We're going to try to do some damage and All quick because right. it's a little bit on the price here. Sorry. Yeah, so we're super excited and we'll see you guys in there. All right, we'll see y'all. We are here, everybody. We are so excited. I got the most beautiful plate, and we are so excited to dig in. Brett got a bunch of more stuff that I did, but I'm really looking forward to these crab legs. So yeah, she loves her crab legs. I loaded up on the lobster claws. It's the best bang for your buck, probably. For so sure. Yeah, we're gonna load it up. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get into it. What do you want to do? You want to try it first? Right. I'm definitely. She's good at breaking them and breaking them down. I can't do it. Yeah, see, so I can't do that. It's not even possible. Mm. Oh, they're so sweet. Are they warm? These are the cold ones. Yeah. Cold ones. So you can get steamed or iced. Yep, and these are the cold ones. And um, I like both, honestly. But they're so, oh, these are so sweet. I'll get you a little piece. Yeah. I can't really break these things down, so. Let's see. This is the sweet meat. That's what I'm gonna go for right now. Sweet, huh? It is good. Really yeah. sweet. It is good. All right, what, what do you have over there? I think I'm gonna jump into the lobster claws first. I mean, this is just yeah? an absolute hog. I mean, they just put this thing out right when I was about to walk away. I was getting, oh, and it's already like pre-cracked pre for yeah. you. These are also cold. Um, but I mean, look at the meat on that son of a gun. If I can pull it out of there, I gotta get into it. Sweet. It's not as sweet as I would expect. It's sweeter than this or no? The crab is sweeter. This is like, seems like almost like a little bit like waterlogged. Obviously, this is the most expensive thing that you want to get here. So you got to try to eat as much of it, it as you can. It definitely has a lot of, retained a lot Look, of water. Yeah. It's a little waterlogged. A little bit. Just a wee bit. That's all right. We'll power through it. I'm going to get another little bite. Well. Yeah. That's a little bit messy, if wow, I'm being indeed. honest. Um, yeah, not bad. I'd like it if it was warm. That's where it's kind yeah, of where I'm the, kind of thrown off a I little bit. I think the crab is good cold, but I don't know that I necessarily love the lobster cold. I would definitely prefer it. Is it is super nice that it's pre-cracked though, because yeah. um, those can sometimes be but I think it gets some moisture in it when it's pre-cracked like that. Yeah. Issue. They did give us these. I'm not going to use them except for maybe with the claws, because I just think it's easier to do it without it. But, um, but yeah, what else you got over there? I'm going to go with these white wine and garlic mussels. Um, I love mussels. Kaylee, what do you think about mussels? Do you like mussels? Mussels are fine. I'd probably, I prefer clams. Oh. Yeah. I think I'd like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, get in there. Got some of that butter on it, too. It does. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Not a huge... Mussels, top notch. Not a huge mussel guy, but we'll see. Except for, for me. Oh. <laughs> Actually, pretty good. Yeah, those are good. I do like the flavor of it. That um, flavored butter is really good. Yeah. So really the good. next thing I went with was a whelk, aka a snail. Um, I mean, if you're here, you gotta try it, right? So, see if we can coax this little sucker out of here real quick. 
Oh my, oh my, that's uh, more than I bargained for, I think. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna eat really it anyway. just eat like the end, uh, I think. I mean, I'm gonna think I'm gonna bite into the midsection of it. Oh, I like pretty the, sweet. I had snail in Get France. Get you some snail, girl. You're so weird. Don't be shy. I had some snail in France, but I'm pretty sure it's just like the outside that you're supposed to eat. Yeah, don't eat the little, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I can't afford snails, good. so I don't really know how to eat them. That hurts good. What do yeah. you think? That's good. All right, we're going to go with this Cajun shrimp. I'm just going to wrap up the seafood portion. You're supposed to suck the head. I don't really suck the head. You want to suck the head? No. Not I. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Got those good Cajun spices in it. Yeah. We can break her down real quick. See if we can give Kaylee a little taste. Here, tell me about that meat. Yeah, it's good. I mean, honestly, spicy. I had this first. Er, not really. I can taste the Cajun spices, yeah. but it's not spicy. Yeah. Um, this is just like so good, and I just want to keep eating this. Yeah. So all of that is like pretty subpar um, comparatively. So I think the mussel is the best thing that I ate. The mussel is really good. Off the seafood, seafood platter, I think the mussel is the yeah. best thing I ate. The mussel is very good, but it also had that, like, the butter. The white I think wine is and what garlic. Did. This yeah. stuff was good. Yeah. I, I enjoyed the sauce on that. And yeah. the little snail was pretty good, too. So. Yeah. All right. That's going to wrap up our little seafood tutorial. Yep. We're going to eat this, and then we'll, we'll be back. Yeah. All right, now we're back with round two of sorts. Kaylee's been sucking down crab legs like it's her job. <laughs> They're so good. I finished that whole plate while he went and got all this food because I couldn't leave any behind because it's so delicious. Yeah, I've been sitting so here excited. for a minute getting ready to eat some more food. So. Yes. Um, what are we going to hop on first? Want to do the rest of the seafood? Yeah, let's get into that. So these that. are like, uh, I think it's called a Jonas crab or something like that. It looks like a stone crab like we have in Florida, but... Yeah. I don't think that it is, and I can't really open it up either. Got yeah, a hard. Jesus, give me a cracker. Where's the cracker? There it is. Sorry, folks. I got a sucker. St oh. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see what this is all about. You ready to go in? Yep. Oh. Oh my. That's. Delicious. I think the other crab's better, but bro, this is one good. of the this is one of the sweetest crabs I've ever. I also got the knuckle, so let me. Eat. Oh, there's claws. Absolutely divine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she'll cut you. Be careful. Oh my. This is like this breaking clock. apart like glass. We got a mess on our hands here. That claw is sweet as it's can be. It's definitely sweeter in the inside. Sweet as me. As opposed to like the middle. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I would highly recommend this. It was out the first time I went up there. And there's a whole brand new. It's very mm, tough to. Brand new shipment up there. Tough yeah, to it's crack. tough to crack, so I'm going to move on from that. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to save this one for a minute, in go. a minute. All right. What, what do you want to get into? What else do you have over there? I got this little, uh, this little, octo little grilled octopus. He looks like a tender little fella. He's got some cilantro on it, so we'll just ditch that because we don't eat cilantro. Not a huge cilantro. No, it just tastes bad. I don't eat stuff that tastes bad. You want to eat that little octopus or what? I'll, just, take it, I'll it. just grab him by the head and just let her rip. What's the sauce on it? Ooh. I don't know. It's very charred, for yeah. sure. You can smell right. the grill. I hope it's going to be tender. Cool. Pretty good. Very good. Pretty tender. I like that. There is a char. You can taste the char on it. You think it's too much? Char? No. Well, you can't really... So. 
I mean, octopus has such a dull flavor anyway. Yeah. So anything that's going to have a strong flavor is going to be tough to like actually taste the meat. So it's a little bit of a a little bit of a clash there, but yeah. oh, it's pretty good. It's nice and tender. I mean, I've eaten some octopus where you can't even chew on it. Yeah. It's like you just put a rubber, like a big rubber bouncy band. ball in your yeah, in your sure. mouth and started chewing. For sure. All and right. We also have. Let's the, jump into Mexico here. The cutest little taco. It's al pastor so it's got that uh, pineapple with it. Um, and of course you gotta do the double. Little corn tortilla on there. You gotta, do, you gotta double them up. Street double taco tortilla. style. Street Are you, taco. You break it in half? No, or just, just take, take a, bite, a bite. I'll take a You take a hit, I'll take a hit. Alright. It looked dry, I'm not gonna lie. It is? Without this pineapple. Pineapple so. always saves Al Pastor, I feel like. I haven't had a lot of good Al Pastor. I like the flavor profile. It's actually yeah. pretty good. Well. Um, I like that. It's one of the better Al Pastors I've had, I think. I think you could use more pineapple. A little bit. It gives it like some really good flavor. Yeah. And the tortilla is pretty dry, honestly. Yeah. Um, but the flavor is really good. Yeah, it's got a little green. All right, so this is, we'll move back in, uh, duck, duck uh, quesadilla. Yeah. It's got a little bit of duck on top, and it's got the avocado, I think a yep. little bit of pickled red onion maybe, or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. A little Want to take the bite first? Yeah, we'll ditch the cilantro. We always ditch the cilantro. Careful. Oh. 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 I like that. That cream on there is really good. Is that like crema? Yeah. Or sour cream? Yeah. What do you think? I'm not a huge fan. Um, Always going to be a savage. It's just, it's just really not, it's nothing special. It's not bad. But it's no. not anything special. I'll and like, finish it then. I'll you can take have it. it. There's a little spice in there too. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I wouldn't have another one, but it wasn't bad. Um, this is what I'm looking forward Get into to. Getting meat. And here, so here we have what is? Which one is? Was this? That's a little blazed pork belly. The pork a little belly. Lighter. Yep. So we had that with a jalapeno on top. We got the prime rib with the horseradish, the creamy horseradish. Gotta have it. And then remnants of our, our crab. crab. And then we also have this, which so, is... It's a brisket, but this doesn't like look this like that fatty. So I can already yeah. tell that it's going to be... A like I'm, a, I'm, a bar, I'm from a, a barbecue area. We're from St. Louis. So like we know good barbecue and that just looks like it's super dry. But Where's your fork? Uh, my fork Here. has since left the table. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm not super looking, I'm not really looking forward to this. We'll see. The flavor's there. It's, that part is dry. The moisture you, is not. Eat this little fatty bit right here. Let's yeah. cut a little fatty bit. I typically do yeah, not I mean, it's just like not. the fatty parts of this meat. Um, yeah. Like, same with, like, the pork belly. I'm not a huge pork belly person. Um... You do, you do like it though. Yeah, I love it actually. Yeah, so. Alright, let's piece. see what this is all about. Seems a little tougher maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Much better. Um. The middle. Yeah, not big on the brisket. But the smoke ring, like you can see the smoke ring, and that has like tons and tons of flavor. I reckon they smoke the lights out of it. Yeah, probably really. I mean, that's where I'm. That's where I'm going with this. But I'm ready flavor, to get. I'm ready to get. That flavor is good. Yeah, the flavor is the flavor. Like the rub on it is like good. It's just like been a victim of being underneath the heat lamp and yeah. it's been sitting here for maybe a minute or two. So, and the prime rib looks like it's the best cooked prime rib I've seen in a long while. It so looks I'm looking delicious, forward to that. Honestly, I get a piece right in the middle. Trying to get our meat sweats on. I'm gonna... Gotta go horseradish always. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, give me a little bit of that radish. This looks very good. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Yep. That is yep. really delicious. That's the best thing I've had so far. It's not even close. It's I really would not even close. Say that it might be better than the crab. It's not, but it's very close. It, that's the best thing I've had. Put it in my mouth. That's really, really good. In several weeks. Really good. I'm definitely gonna eat more of that. Um, yeah. Definitely. You want to dive into this? Or is this gonna be too spicy for you? Yeah, I don't want to try that. Not a, not a spice gal, as we know. No. You I'm can, just gonna go hard on this pork one. belly then. I'm not sure. It's like what, a one bite anyway. I'm not really sure what it's on, but it looks like a nice piece of pork belly. Sorry. Can you taste the spice at all or no? It's spicy. It's also got some like fruitiness to it. Like I don't know if there's some kind of like fruit jam or something on that. Pretty good. Um, not the best pork belly I've had by a long shot, but yeah, decent. Decent. All right, what do we want to get into? We want to get into this. Last, yeah, this is the last thing we have for this this little round. So we went to a buffet at the Bellagio. We didn't film obviously, um, but we had bone marrow and it's quite underwhelming. So I'm hoping this is a little better. A little bit better the bone yeah. is cut like in half so you can actually get in there and you don't have to mm -hmm. suck it as hard as you know yeah, you just pull so it right out you don't have to suck it at all yeah it's got some stuff on top it's very gelatinous yeah which is which is a great sign not kaylee's favorite texture though no i'm not a always a huge fan no. i will try it because i did hear it was very good um and you put it on like a cracker you want to grab this it's better to put it on like a piece of bread but they give you this like cheesy yeah. little italian like italian cracker you break it in half so we can both try it the cracker i will break the cracker in half mm. exciting all right let's see it is this like italian like oh it smells like mushroomy it smells really good bone marrow kind of does have that like mushroomy umami like type flavor so I'm not sure about this, but I'm we're sure that eat I, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see. Let's give it a crack. Oh. oh. That's really good. That is freaking delicious. It's not on the level of the prime rib, but it's definitely one know. of the best things I had. It's got like all these like it's like Italian like seasoning almost, right? That's really good. Yes. Absolutely really good. fire. Yeah. So we'll definitely get more of that in oh, a little yeah. bit. 100%. So we're gonna finish this prime rib and we'll see you back here in a little bit. Alright. Alright, we are back for round maybe three. Three or four? Four. 3.5. All right, look here. There's just like literally a million options here to eat. Yeah. So we're trying to focus on some, and on some things that we, you know, found interesting. Mm -hmm. um, we both grabbed the chicken and waffle, so we're looking forward to trying that. Really excited. My cousin Jacob said it was very delicious. Yeah. Just sitting right here off screen, so I think he might might have eaten like four or five. Yeah. So let's get into that one first. I'm not a dill pickle right. guy, so I'm gonna ditch the dill pickles all the way. I love dill pickles. Dill pickles. There's nothing worse on the planet than a dill pickle, in my opinion, in the food world. He's just so wrong. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go like caveman on it. I'm You're just gonna, gonna hand it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take it out by hand. Should I cut it or hand it? Just take it out by hand. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a couple. Couple building. Oh. Come on, get that sucker. Sauce. Get that, it's gonna be a big bite. All right, I'm gonna do one pickle at a time because I don't want to lose it. And yeah, you can just ditch them both because they're trash. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, oh. Huh. <coughs> it's kind of spicy. Bro, that heat, that heat hits hard. But that syrup really balances it out when you get in, like, did the, the syrup help at all yet? Yeah, I don't know how to feel. I really don't. Um, oh, I know how It's I feel. delicious. I'm like frozen in um, contemplation yeah. because 
very good. Oh. And I... Yeah. I was thinking the pickle was spicy, but it's not. I don't even know what makes it that spicy. Yeah, that's yeah, some I just real can't heat. comprehend. <clears throat> that's some real heat. That's really good, though. Yeah. Really good. One of the best things I've had. Like, that bite legit. was really sweet. Yeah, one of the best things I've had. That I love, I sweet. love that common flavor combination. That sweet, that heat. Yum. I can't beat it. Woo! But it's spicy. Super it is spicy. spicy. I'm a spice lord myself, and that is a little spicy for me. Yeah. Real good though. All right. Let's dive into the next thing. We'll just keep moving along here quickly. This is the truffle mushroom pizza. Um. Smells like a straight mushroom, so let's see. Average. I mean, I don't taste like any truffle, and the mushroom is like decent, but like this is really just like a fat piece of bread with like minimal flavor. Right. So, I think yeah. I'll skip that then. Uh, safe, yeah, I think it's, safe a, it's, just a, safe, it's a safe one to pass on. I'm, I'm actually. Yeah. And you got what? So, yeah, I don't need to try that. You got some falafel. Mid. Falafel. I love falafel. We've both had falafel before. Um, it's got a little bit of hummus underneath of it, yeah. too. Yeah. Get, get a nice scoop. It's like oh, a... Oh, it's like a red pepper hummus? Red pepper is oh. what I was going to say. Yeah. Like a roasted red pepper. I love red pepper hummus. It's like... Right. Cheers. Yeah. Let's get into that. almost dropped it. Yeah, hummus is good. I like that a lot. Yeah. I falafel really is like, it could be moister for yeah. sure, but the hummus like saves it. Mm -hmm. So you just go back to the hummus and just dip it right in. And yeah. Yeah, very good. Yum. Yeah. Yeah, the hummus is like really, really good. Yep. Really, really stellar. Um, Alright, let's get into these. Like, We're in the Mediterranean now, so let's stick there for a second. Yeah. Um, I got beet hummus. It's a pretty purple color, man. Lovely. It's got a little fried garbanzo beans on the top. Yeah. And then this, um, honestly, I can't remember what this was. I think it was like some type of like... Um, tzatziki type thing? Yeah. Yeah. With the bread? Alright, I'm going to try this. You can try that. I'll try this one. Look at that beautiful like, violet color. It's really pretty. Oh, yeah. That's good. That hummus is good. What you it's got really with that? Um, like a tzatziki or no? Yeah, with lots of dill. Definitely had like a cucumbery flavor. So very tzatziki like, but there's no like chunks of um, Try that one. chunks of cucumber in it. Like Let's normal. See. Let's see the vibe. Yeah. It's also thicker. That's good. It's like a thick tzatziki. Yeah. You know? It's good though. Yep. That's better. The purple? In my opinion. That's even better than the roasted red pepper hummus, I think. Really? Yeah. It's a hot take. Not that hot of a take, but we'll see. Tell me. No. No, okay. Um, Alright. I mean, no. Is it good? It's good. Yeah, really good. The red pepper is better. All right. Well, bye, everybody. I appreciate that opinion. Now, to one of my favorite things in the world, chips and salsa and chips and guac. Um, I'm not going to fill up on this because there are so, so many good items here. But you really can't beat, like, the homemade chips and, like, fresh guac. Try to get that big cilantro Again, leaf off. Yeah, we're going to really ditch this guy um, per usual. Um, but guacamole is just one of my favorite things, so. Do you want to try it with me? No, you can. I'll let you take over on this one. You're a chip, chip and salsa connoisseur, quite the expert. My opinion wouldn't matter one bit. I would hold no water in this debate. Um, I could use more, more lime. But it's really very good. Um, like I can taste the... Honestly, I'm kind of getting the lime now, so I take that back. It's the perfect amount of lime. Oh, 
and it's really, really good. Chips are um, not like overdone, but I feel like they like absorbed a little too much oil because they're kind of thin. Are they fresh? They're fresh. Mm -hmm. um, but a little too oily for me, but very yummy. You get into your salsa. And then we've got some salsa. Can't handle like a lot red. of spice. Can't do the spice, so hopefully there it's a little mild. This, this is the mild one. Uh oh. There's two. It was like a um, habanero one, and then this one. It didn't say what the pepper was, but it did say mild. So obviously that's what I got. A little bit of jalapeno, perhaps. I don't know because it's red. So oh. well, it smells kind of sweet. I don't know. Yeah, it smells sweet. Ooh, ooh, you'd like this. Right. Oh, then I guess I'll give it a rip. It's like, um, there's definitely some heat, but it's like a sweet heat. It's kind of mid, in my opinion. But it's like a sweet, it's not the best sauce I've ever had. It's like a... It's a sweet heat, though. Chipotle-esque. Yeah. Like Chipotle pepper-esque, not like right. the Chipotle restaurant. Correct. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. So, and then, one of my favorite things, Mexican street oh, corn. So excited for this. Um, they make it fresh in front of you. We had a clip from before that I showed like they're on this rotating like disc, this rotating fire and grill. And there's so much like char and all kinds of stuff and then they put the cheese on it. Yeah, they got the, the spices. they got the like man is it like mayonnaise and yep. cotija cheese and yep. maybe a little tahine or something in there. That's exactly what it is. Yep, so they slap yeah. slather the may mayonnaise on, which Brett's not usually a mayonnaise guy, but it's really just to like get everything to stick. So I'm big on eating I'm, corn off the cob either because it's like all in your teeth and you got to floss. But and I mean, you got to do it though, right? Yeah, like I don't really. Do I prefer not to mess with corn a whole lot. I mean, if, like my mom used to cut it off the top for me. I'll like take it that way for sure. <laughs> Thanks, mom, for cutting the corn off the cob yeah. for me. Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Oh no. <laughs> Not the best. Um, Let me have a little. I'll give it a little. Not the best Mexican street corn I've ever had. I'll give her a shot. Uh. It's like too salty. It's just not. It's really not it. No. That's really disappointing because I well, was really excited for that. The corn like isn't like even like sweet. Yeah. Like in the it's Midwest we salty. eat all this sweet sweet corn and that just like tastes like. Not, I mean, it doesn't really, the corn doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, so. All right, and then the last two things we have are this, um, it's a pineapple, like refresher is what it is, but it's like agua fresca. So it's it's a Mexican drink. Um, and then we also have, um, I forgot what this is actually. Maybe hibiscus or something? Hibiscus, yeah, and it was with like sparkling, sparkling water. So it's supposed to be like a sangria almost. Yeah, it's just like a really good straight pineapple Ooh. juice. I like that. Yeah. Switch. Yeah, have a go at that. Oh, that's got a little bit of tartness and a little bit of... Yeah, that one's like a sangria-y. Huh. Yeah. Well, this is really good. This tastes good, a though. lot like um, our video at Jollibee. Oh, Jollibee. Shout out Jollibee. With our... Th that pineapple drink was so good. Yeah. Um, and it's very, very similar. Yeah. So I really, really like this. So. Awesome. All right. We'll finish this good up man. and maybe see you next time. All right. We are ready for dessert and look how cute these things are. I'm excited to use Probably these. Probably for like the sorbet, but whatever. Yeah. But they're so cute. And they're like, everything tastes better on a tiny spoon. I'm pretty convinced. So. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're gonna go. What we have? I'm gonna describe what we have here first. We got the pineapple upside down cake. We got the ube chiffon cake, which I'm really excited for. Um, we love ube. We got the hazelnut beignet. Yeah. We got a little bit of tiramisu. Your favorite. Did I do the egg tart. Egg tart. Egg tart. We got the green tea raspberry mousse, and then we got a little bit of chocolate lava cake to round it out. Gotta have at least a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, you have to. So, all right, let's.
break into this guy? Pineapple upside down cake, one of my favorite desserts of all time. I sound like a like Grandma. a senior citizen, I guess, but it's still, it's a great dessert. All right. You do not like maraschino cherries. No, maraschino cherries are one of the worst creations of all time. I do like maraschino cherries a lot. They're right up there with dill pickles for me. Just so something weird. I don't like to consume. Which are two of my favorite things. Here you go. Are you going to give it to me on my little uh, Your baby shovel? Spoon, yeah. My little shovel. And I, oh, I I'm just smelling it. it. Golly. Wait yeah, a minute. Eat it together. Oh my. All right. Here's this. I'm going to try to get my maraschino in there. Ew. Disgusting. But this looks really good. Yeah. That's good. It's that not, is delicious. Not dry at all. No, it's, it's one of the more moist cakes I've ever had. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, yummy. I love that. That is yummy. What are we gonna get on to next? Tiramisu. Yeah. Let's get a. Kaylee's not the biggest tiramisu gal that. out there, but Ooh. I love tiramisu. It's one of my favorite desserts. There's like beans in there. So espresso bean on top. Oh, he fell down. Yeah. Here we go, a little tiramisu. Boom. Those lady fingers are soaked really well underneath there. That espresso. It's a good flavor. I really like that a lot. What do you think? It's all right. I'm not a huge fan, but it does taste better and I'm pretty convinced it's because of the stuff. Uh, yeah, can't argue with that. <laughs> That's science. All right, what do you want to dive into? Egg tart? Yeah, and Kaylee, I not the biggest egg tart don't person really out like there. Egg tarts. Um, I love them. It's one of my favorite desserts as well. Gonna I just to love break the sweets. This I can't get enough of the sweets. I could just eat sweets the whole time I was here. I'd be pretty happy. Yeah, I'm more of a doesn't salt seem person, like so. doesn't seem super flaky, but we'll give her a shot. Uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of flaky. Yeah. All right. Crazy. Oh yeah. It's good. It's pretty good. It just tastes too much like um. It's not as flaky as I want it to be, though. It just tastes all. too much like eggs to me. Well, it's an egg tart, dessert, so. so. There's Sweet that. Eggs. All right, let's do this guy. All right, we're going into the green tea raspberry mousse. It is mousse. It is a mousse, I believe. Yes. It's a green tea mousse, I think, with like a little bit of raspberry, like jam or something on top. I don't know, but it looks good. Yum. Oh. Ooh. That was really good. I like that a lot. Oh, baby. That's really, really yummy. I'm telling you, I think it's the spoons. spoons yeah, let's do it. That's probably the best dessert that I've tasted thus far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Yum. All right, moving right along. Okay, let me see that. Is this edible? This flower? I feel they like they in? can't put it on. Not bad. I'm <laughs> sorry, what? Very floral. Um, I'm gonna pretend like that didn't just happen. <laughs> I can get into the zube. I mean, um, they put the flower on there. It's, why would you not eat it? Oh, there's stuff in the bottom. Yeah, it's a little chiffon cake in there with like a ube. Mm. All right, maybe right, another mousse type deal going on here. We love ube. Ooh, yum. Ube is one of our favorite items. Like I said before, it's like a purple yam. If you watched our Jollibee video. Oh. Yeah, the cake's good. Really moist. Yum. That's great flavor. That's so good. Yeah. I love People that. People need to like make ube stuff more. You do in every a lot of Asian countries or I know. A lot of ube based desserts. It. So yeah. All right, we'll move into this hazelnut beignet, but it looks super like underwhelming. Me. So it's just like Nutella inside of a beignet, a fake beignet, almost. Yeah. That's pretty like good, a, like honestly. A, yeah. It's pretty good. But, Doesn't um, taste like a beignet to me, really. I've had, Haley, beignets. You've had beignets from Cafe Du Monde. What do you think? I have. Um, they. I mean, the hazelnut spread inside that Nutella. You gotta love Nutella. Yeah, but it like doesn't really do anything for it, right? Like beignets are supposed to be like yeah. by themselves. Yeah. 
So, all right, one last item to wrap up the video. A chocolate lava cake. Um, I don't think it's going to be very lava-y. No, but it's got a decent amount of chocolate in there. All right, I'll cut it in half. I got a one. You want to one bite it? Yeah, one hit it. There you go. I don't know if I can one bite this. That's a lot of chocolate. That's a, you can do it. Oh. Oh my Atlanta. Here we go. All right. Take it down all the way. <laughs> A little bit of vanilla ice cream on that would be awesome. Yep. Absolutely awesome. Very chocolatey. Alright, what are some yeah. of your favorite items from today? Let's let's get into that real quick. Um recap. Crab legs. Delicious. Yeah. Prime rib. Delicious. Can't argue with that, yeah. Those are the top two things um, that I had. This ube dessert. Also pretty high up there. Um, I just had so much I really can't even think. I don't. Yeah. I didn't really have anything that was terrible, honestly, that I can remember. No. Um, everything was pretty good. I think we definitely got our money's worth. Because um, there, I mean, there's something a, for everybody, it's right? A tough like, task to do. Yeah, there's something for everybody here. Yeah. All kinds of different like ethnic food. You know, yeah. you had stuff from the Philippines, stuff from like Mexico, stuff from everywhere. So it's it's really just everybody has something for them there. So yeah, very pleased. Yeah. So I think my favorite overall item was probably the prime rib. It was like one of the best pieces of prime rib I've ever had. So good. Um, that was like usually what I would go out and get for my birthday every year is the prime rib from Texas Roadhouse. Shout out Texas Roadhouse. Um, other things, the chicken and waffle. I mean, I really like spice and good. sweet a lot. So like, that was just a perfect combination for me with the spice and the sweetness. Yeah. Um, it's like a little tender chicken nugget on top. So yeah, it was really good. Um, dessert wise, I'm gonna have to go with the ube and also like this green tea that raspberry, really like little shooter here is, is also really delicious. So, I mean, there's just like a ton of different items here. We could sit here for a week and maybe not even get to every item. Um, also, the Jonas Crab Claw, yeah. I think is what it was called, was also really good. Seafood was pretty good, so yeah. I think we got close to our money's worth. Yeah. Really tough task Highly to do. I recommend uh, yeah. coming here if you guys are in Vegas yeah. and have time. Do get a reservation, though. Uh, we had a reservation about four months in advance um, to get our reservation. Uh, they do walk-ups, but sometimes they are completely full, especially on weekends or, or bigger days. Um, yeah. So we highly recommend it. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. We actually have our our friends with us um, and family. Here's Jake. We've got Aaron and Rachel, and then Jeff. Here's our camera guy, Jeffrey. So so we're super thankful, um, you know, that they're here with us celebrating Brett's birthday weekend. So. Yeah. Um, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. See y'all. Bye.